happening welcome back to my channel y'all um as you can see i look totally different i know so i first want to just start off with that um sorry y'all okay so anyway um first day first i just want to say that um I, the last video that I posted, I did end up getting sick. I did end up, um, getting a cold, a nasty one at that, um, and, <coughs> excuse me, I'm finally getting over it, um, if you hear me coughing every now and then, that's just me, Base. I mean, I'm over the cold, you know, um, overall, I am, and, um, so, yeah, now, I want to start off by saying, I know my hairstyle is different, and I want to talk about my hair right now, so, those of you know that, of course, I have box braids, but, I've, I know, I don't know if y'all can see, but, I've tried the rubber band method, and, I was like, why not? So I'm gonna show y'all. And I did add, you know, some accessories. And I got these accessories from, I got the accessories from, of course, your regular um, hair store. But yeah, and of course I laid my edges or whatever like that. Um, But I started my hair off, okay? But then I asked my mom to kind of like come in, <coughs> excuse me, and finish um, my hair for me because what happened was when I braided, you know, when you put the rubber band in, and then when I braided, the hair would like slip from here. So I was having trouble keeping it, you know, I was trying to keep it here where it needs to be. Okay, so yes, um, I wanted to, to talk about that. Also, I wanted to talk about, before I get into the video, I wanted to talk about, um, I had a, oh, before I even talk about that, this is my fit, you know. Oh, this is the pocket. I don't know why, sometimes these shorts, the pocket kind of like, um, but anyway, I got this shirt. Oh, this not shirt, but blouse from Rule 21. And these shorts came from, um, the shorts came from, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was Rule 21. Maybe. Um, anyway, so... Um, yeah, like I was saying, I lost, I lost my thought. Um, I wanted to talk about yesterday. Now, okay, when I was a teenager, you know, I've always had people to ask me, or come at me and be like, are you a model? You know, you should model, you know, things like that. Um, and I always considered it. I never really took the initiative to actually go through through with it actually go through the process of becoming one so i'm really excited i'm anxious too but <clears throat> um on yesterday i received a call from one of the modeling agencies here in columbia um bella modeling uh, bella modeling <laughs> agency um and, um, like I said, I've reached out to them and, you know, I even left a message. I think this was like either a week or so ago and I, I left a message on the uh, voicemail and I said, um, that I would be interested, you know, in learning more about how to, you know, become a model and everything like that. Um, so... Um, somebody called me yesterday and 
basically she was talking to me about well she asked if i wanted to come by um uh, for you know an appointment or whatever like that um and i was like sure why not you know i um the appointment was yesterday at four and of course i went but i did not go by myself um my parents came along with me i guess you know hey they want to make sure i get there safely they want to make sure you know that because you know that's my first time going there or even knowing where this place knowing where this place is so you know i was thankful that they did come and i was thankful that i had some type of support when I was there, because if I was there by myself, you know, I, I would be a little nervous. I'm not even going to lie. But, um, okay, I go there. And actually, the some of you who probably don't know, but the agency is on Main Street. It's on 1332 Main Street in Columbia. Um, so, you know, we get there, and it's this building. And all the buildings connected to each other. Um, and, you know, outside, it does look a little... Like, what? But on the inside, it looks really, really nice. There was this, like, um, restaurant or whatever. I forgot. I think it's Peter, Peter Pit or whatever. And then you supposed to go upstairs. Or, so we went up to the upstairs, and we finally um, came across Bella Mala Agency. They are in Suite 212, by the way. Um, I get there and it's so cute. The room is so cute. Like, they have it, <coughs> excuse me, decorated so cute. Um, it's like, the colors were yellow, black. Yeah, yellow and black. And of course, the walls were like white. But everything else was kind of like deck, deck out, like, you know, decorated stuff. But anyway, I get there and the, um, owner of the agency of course her name is donna bella hence bella so i thought that was pretty neat i thought that was actually cute though like she used her real name as her business um so i get there and of course and we're all sitting in the room um and you know <coughs> excuse me of course she asks me questions she asks um if i could tell her more about myself hold on y'all let me uh oops let me change rooms okay i just had to change location right quick but um yeah, like I was saying, she um she asked me to tell, you know, her, I mean, yeah, tell her about me and, you know, just things like that. And to make a long story short, even though I have no modeling experience, but I do have, um, like, you know, photo shoot experience, knowing how to take pictures, knowing how to, you know, like changing outfits hairstyle makeup feel me doing all of that and um taking you know a professional photo shoot so anyway um i guess i want to say all that to say this i really hope that you know i get in and maybe they see something in me um Like she say, you know, um, so yeah, that, that was that, um, I don't know why I keep saying, oh, I'm so much, y'all. I try to stop saying, oh, so much. It's such a habit. And anyway, so yeah, basically, uh, what else, what I wanted to talk about was, <coughs> excuse me was uh oh yeah i just i wanted to kind of do a story time i guess um 
and I said it again. So if I say, um, oh well, I can help it, but I want to do story time on, I guess, uh, my crush or first time I had a crush. Now, I'm going to start from my, hold up. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to start from, ooh. Okay, so I'm going to start telling the story from probably like or pre-K or elementary or something like that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, starting from, you already know how we get those innocent little crushes when we are like um, four or five years old. Um, dang. Okay, I went to Revline Elementary, right? And there was this, I mean, he was popular. Everybody knew him, but there was this cute cute i always thought he was freaking no 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 no. i'll take that back wrong grade i was in the i had to be in the hold up hold up now either the first or second grade yeah not pre-k um <coughs> excuse me it was either the first oops the first or second grade i think um, and his name, I don't know if I should say his name, I guess I should say his name, but his name was Cyril, yes, you heard me right, not Cyril, but it's Cyril, C-Y-R-I-L, yes, Cyril, and uh, everybody knew him, of course, in the class, he was popular, all the girls liked him. <coughs> Excuse me. And all the girls liked him when I say all of, like, literally. And, you know, so, it was so long ago, y'all. And I'm trying to, like, I'm not trying to remember everything, like, everything, everything. But it's it's a funny story because... He knew that I liked him, obviously, because um, I always liked flirt. Matter of fact, you know one thing that, you know how guys be like, oh, you know, like they'll flirt with you back, but they, they would claim that, no, they don't like you, and they would just do, that's a lie. Whenever they flirt back, I always feel like, hey, you must like me because you're playing with me back. But anyway, um, we would chase at each other. Uh, we would chase after each other. Well, he would more so chase after me. Um, uh, like when we would be playing and stuff, and um, he knew I liked him, and he didn't like me though, because I think he liked it. This other girl, she was a pretty girl though. Ouch. And, um, yeah, he liked it, some other girl. And I was mad at that. I was mad. I wanted him to like me, not her. But, you know, hey, after a while, I was just forget. I, I was like, I had, I thought about it, and I was like, forget it. I'm not about to sit here and, no, I'm not, I can't make nobody like me. If they don't like me, you don't like me, you know. <laughs> Excuse me, but anyway, um, so one day, um, I think we was like in a library, and you know how the librarian, um, after she, I think like after she read us a story, she normally give out candy and things, or I forgot how it was it's so long ago, and our, our teacher gave us something. I don't know, you know how the yeah, that's that's it. Either the t either the teacher or the librarian give you candy for good behavior, 
Excuse me. So, I wish I had my own. Anyway. Um, yeah, so, got candy for good behavior. And, mind you, y'all, it was those really good gum. I forgot the name of those gum. But if y'all seen a picture of it, y'all would know what I'm talking about. I would probably insert a picture in here later, and you, I would put a picture up. So y'all so know what I'm talking about. But I forgot the name of the candy. I think it's called Big Big Boy. Like I don't know. It's something, but it's really good. Um, it's like a hard shell. It's a hard shell, and then the gum is inside. But it's so sweet and so good. So anyway, anyway. Um, the point is that I had the candy. Um, Cyril, he didn't get a candy or something. Or I don't know if he um, was acting up or something or he got in trouble or something and he didn't get any candy. So he knew that I had candy. So he asked, well, he, asked, he didn't ask me could he have my candy, but he was like, um, like, can I have your candy? <laughs> um, he was like, because um, if you give me, if you give me your candy, I'll like you. Like, you know, I'll be your boy. Something like that he was saying. Y'all, I was waiting. I was so waiting on him to freaking come to a realization, honey, that, you know, you need me. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so he was like, I'll be a boyfriend. I'll like you if you give me your candy, if you give me a piece of your candy. And I was like, I thought about it, y'all, because honestly, I wanted my candy. But then I thought about, okay, hmm, should I give him my candy? Or, no, I was like, keep my candy. Or I can finally have the guy, the nigga, the boy, whatever of my dreams. Like, I can finally have them to myself. So, mind y'all, I was young. And I think we was in the, I think we was in the third grade. I ain't gonna lie. I think it was, like, the third. Second, I don't freaking know. But just know we was youngins, all right. <laughs> Excuse me. And I gave him the candy. And sure enough, um... Like he definitely, um, he definitely, uh, shoot. I'm looking for the word, y'all. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. I don't know why I'm coughing so much now because before I started this video, I was not even coughing. But anyway, he definitely, like, you know, live up to his word and. He definitely flirted with me all the time. He definitely was liking me. He definitely touched me in some... Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. But y'all know how it is. Like, look, kids, y'all gonna be fast and fresh and stuff like that. And I had like him. I really didn't care. Um, and I feel good about it, okay? So, really, you know, that was my first crush in, uh, what, elementary school, I, I guess? No? Yeah? <sighs> okay. Moving on, um, I'm going to just skip high school because, um, yeah, it's really not that important. Um, college. Now, mind y'all. When I was in high school, I really didn't have too much, I guess you could say, freedom like that. Um, well, before my junior and senior year, but like leading up to like my freshman and sophomore year, um, I couldn't really do too much. Uh, my parents were really strict on us. When I say us, I'm talking about me and my three brothers. They was really strict on me, especially me. But um, anyway, so... Like, before graduating from high school, I remember people used to talk to me, and they used to say, Crystal, because, um, like, I said this before in one of my other videos that um, I always used to wear dresses and skirts and stuff. I never wore pants up until just junior and my senior year. That's when I started wearing pants. And so, 
you know, in my senior year before even graduating, a lot of people were saying, because you going to college, right? I was like, yeah, of course I'm going to college. And then they was like, you know what's going to happen? It's like, once you get there, you're going to go wild. I was like, girl, stop. I'm not going to go wild. And when I got to Claflin, what did I do? Go wild. Not purposely, but it just happened. Um, but anyway, that's another story. That's another story. Um, so there was this. Okay, my now there was two, two, two. I guess I have two incidents. First story is the fact that. Um, the guy or the nigga that I was crushing on, he was a basketball player. He was fine, yes, very fine. Um, and as soon as I saw him, <coughs> excuse me, I mean, I locked eyes on him. You know how it is, like, you instantly just fall in love. So, I was like, I was with my, she wasn't my roommate, but she was one of my, like, a cool friend or whatever I was hanging with. And, um, I was with her and then we went to eat breakfast at the cafe and then we saw another girl that we knew. So she called us over and we sat down at her table and we was all talking and chit chatting at the table. And that's when I think like all the group of, you know, the basketball players and stuff, they, um, came into the cafe and they, um, I think they went and like, sat down at the table. But before all that was, I been peeped him. And so I had, um, I had pointed to him and I was just like, who is that right there? And then, and then, um, she was like, oh, him girl, that's Alonzo. I was like, Alonzo, that's his name? Like, I just instantly was like, oh my goodness, even his name. I was like, oof, even his name sound good. Not only does he look good, but his name is sexy, like Alonzo. Like, anyway, um, so she calls him over to the table, and she was like, hey, Alonzo, what's up? I need you to come here, whatever, I have something to tell you. And she, he come over, and of course, I get all shy and giggly, and she was like, well, my friend over here thinks she was cute. And I he was, I guess he was trying to figure out which one, me or my friend. And, you know, of course, my friend, she was not into them or into it. But I certainly was, okay? And I was looking at him and I was smiling. And I was like, hey, was like, hey what's up? So, speeding up, after we was finished eating breakfast, well, yeah, the girl um, that was sitting at the table, her name was Kashan. <laughs> Excuse me. She, she um, left because I think she had an early morning class. And um, me and my friend, we have the same class. And I forgot what time it was, but it wasn't even time for our class yet. So, um, we I think he ended up leaving out the calf before us. I was like, girl, come on, come on. I want to catch him. She was like, okay. So, because mind y'all, I was like shy. Even though I was, if I could give him my number, I was like, can I give you my number? And, <laughs> excuse me. He was like, uh, I was like, whatever, you know, it doesn't matter. So, um, my next crush, <laughs> yeah, next crush. Um, he was in a fraternity bus, you know. He was one of them frat brothers. But he was an alpha. I'm not going to say his name. I'm not going to say his name. Because people that know me know. I'm sure they know of this person. I'm not going to say his name. But. um, So, yeah. When I first saw him. And, you know, we know how people do like love at first sight. <laughs> Um, you know, people be like, oh, I don't believe in love at first sight. Well, let me tell you something. Um, <clears throat> I truly, I, I do believe in love at first sight. I won't say that, you know, I don't know, like, 
it just depends. I believe it's just it just depends like on you know that person that you're you're looking at or you're into or whatever um makes you believe that love at first sight is real because it's how you feel about when you first saw this person you're like wow like who is that so anyway it was one of those things and i seen her walking on campus one time before and i was like Zay. like who is that because i was by myself um and i was like who the egg <laughs> who that who is that okay i got to know who he is um so i seen him before again but I think I already had kind of heard of him, like his name and stuff like that. So I said, oh, his name is Colin. So there was one time where I think I was going, like walking to my dorm and he was coming from the opposite direction. Um, and I see him coming up. I was like, oh, there he go, there he go. I was like, oh, he looking so good today. I mean, he always looked good, but I was like, mm, just something about today. You know, he's very tall or whatever. Anyway, <laughs> um... So I was like, hey, you know, he's like, what's up, mama? Like, you know, you know how guys have like the little nickname, whatever they call you, whatever. I was like, nothing. And um, I gave him a hug. And but <laughs> anyway, I was about to say something else, but I'm not gonna say it. But um. Yeah, so, you know, Losa started giving a hug, blah, blah, blah. Fast forward the story a little bit. Um, we've kind of gotten to know each other a little better. You know, obviously, we got each other numbers and stuff like that. Um, obviously, he knew that I liked him very much. Now, this is a crazy thing. So, one day, um, I was, I think I was, like, waiting, you know, just waiting. Because my class didn't start yet, so... I was just waiting to um, go to class, really. Um, and I seen him go inside, like, well, he was, I think he was coming out the cab or something, and he was, like, about to go into his little dorm or whatever like that. So I was like, hey, you know, I won't say his name. And he, of course, he, you know, he was started smiling and said, hey, bag, and, you know, laughing, was talking. Um, I, <coughs> I said to him, yeah, I was talking, and I was like, so what you up to? What you about to do? Um, he was like, nothing, nothing, something, something, something. You know, he just kept walking and walking. I'm like, slow down when I'm talking to you. Like, why is you walking so fast? Um, so, you know, I was, like, kind of, like, following behind him, you know, going behind him or whatever like that. Um, mind you, you know, y'all know, I'm going to just say this, um, the South Dorm. What do you call that dorm? The, um, I think you call it South or something like that at Classes. I think you call it South. I think that's what the guy's dorm was called. But, mind you, you know, when you always go into the South, um, they rarely have RAs at the desk. Like, it, it, some, like most of the time, back when I was there, because this was in, I don't know, like, I don't even freaking know. It's been, you know, back then or whatever. But anyway, um, most of the time, they really wouldn't have anybody sitting at a desk like that. So, you can always kind of go in. Um, but most of the time, you know, anyway, I ain't going to say too much. If I say too much, I'm going to tell it myself. So, those are shorts, you know, I come behind him, I follow him or whatever, whatever. Um, so, <laughs> this might sound crazy, y'all, and I'm not crazy. I promise y'all, I'm not freaking crazy, y'all. But, um, I, you know, I didn't mean to, but I just was trying to get his attention. So, I was, like, sitting behind him or whatever, and I was, um, like, in his room. But, we were just talking, we were just talking or whatever, and he was like, girl, you probably see your room. I mean, you, you follow me to my room, whatever, blah, 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 like that. That's why you crazy. And I was like, no, I'm not really crazy. I was like, I don't want you to think I'm a really crazy person. Like, look, I'm not on some of that type of stuff. I'm not about to sit here and do that. I was like, I just wanted to talk to you. And he's like, okay. And I was like, and, and then I got a class, so it really don't matter. Like, I'm not about to, 
<clears throat> so at the time, well, now I guess I kind of feel bad for him, but at the time I wasn't thinking like that because I was so gushing over him. But um, anyway, so you know, we were sitting and talking, chilling in the room or whatever like that, and um, I forgot what happened. Um, I think his roommate. His roommate didn't come in his room, but his roommate did come in the lobby room part or whatever you call that part. And, um, but that was before I left. We didn't do anything. We just, we just sat in there and we talked and we chilled, we laughed, whatever. Um, not that I didn't want to now, honey. <laughs> um, I certainly did, but I couldn't because I had a class at the time. I actually was about to skip that class because that class really wasn't important. I mean, it wasn't, you know how you had some classes that just was like a waste of your freaking time? Like, it was, anyway. I was talking to him and, <sighs> well, I forgot what I was talking about. <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm going to hurry up, y'all. But, um, I was talking to him, and I forgot what he was talking about. I forgot what me and him was talking about. I don't know. But I kind of do remember this. He said something about, um, no, he was on a computer or something, but I kind of remember him. He started, like, playing some, some songs, some music or something like that. Um. So, I I remember saying, like, mm, I think that's my cue to go, whatever, like that, you know. Because he really, at first, you know, he was talking with me, but I guess I kind of got that vibe where, like, he didn't really want to. I just, like, I was saying to myself, like, let me let me get out of this boy room. Because, first of all, I don't want to get in trouble. And, you know, I want him to make me think that I'm crazy. But he already probably think I'm crazy because, like, nigga, I just freaking... Anyway, so, um, he was like, ooh, okay, it's that so cute, so, he was like, which, what do you, like, he was like, um, you wanna go, cause, like, he was sitting on his bed by then, and he was like, you wanna go, oh, you wanna go, like, you know, I was like, he was basically saying, did I wanna, you know, or did I just want to leave like that? And I was like, ooh. I said, I have to do, I said both, really. But, you know, I got to go. I was like, I should have a class. I was like, but I would love to stay. I was like, you know me. I was like, I was like come on. Like, that's automatic. Like, you know what it is. You already know what it is. Like, you already know what I would do if I had the chance to. I just made that up. But, anyway, um... Yeah, I was like, you already know what I want to do. But I ended up having to leave because I was like, fuck. I was like, I thought, because I thought about, and y'all get around to go to, this is a thermometer, by the way. But I thought about it. I th No, I thought about the class. I was like, fuck. Like, I don't freaking want to go to my next class. I really don't want to go. Um, But I ended up going in, and I was like, okay. I was like, I gotta go. I don't want to go. And he knew I didn't want to go because, y'all, like, it was, you, we know, like, you know, us ladies, I guess what I'm trying to say is, when you want something, you know how to show that nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? You know how to show a nigga that you want something, or you know how to show him that you want to give him something. But you, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I was basically like, it's just that it was all in my face, was all in my body language. Obviously, like, I didn't want to go. But, sorry, y'all. But it was all, you know, in my body language and stuff like that. And I was like, I don't want to go. And, um, but I left. Now, when I left out of the room, I noticed that his roommate was sitting in the lobby part. Now, I already knew of his roommate, and, like, I didn't know him. His roommate knew me. Actually, his roommate, I, like, before I met, 
um, this person, I was about to say his name, but before I met him, um, I met his roommate, which I didn't know they were roommates, but I met his roommate, like, um, the beginning of, I think, like, <coughs> oh. okay, I'm good. So as I left out his room, I could still hear them freaking laughing and shit like just like that girl is fucking great. And after all of that, I did end up seeing him again, and um, I ended up talking to him again. I was just like about the other day, and that was crazy as hell. So I just come to tell you that I am not crazy. But y'all, up until this day, um. I still kind of have like contact with him or whatever so it really don't matter but you know y'all um I just wanted to come up on here and share this with y'all share this story with y'all yeah and um maybe somebody can relate to it and um hope hopefully y'all could hear me and enjoy this video, this story time, you know, slash whatever like that. But okay, so I guess I will catch y'all another day, another time, and another vlog. All right, y'all, peace out. And I might end up vlogging later on today because I'm going to go back out. I, I'm going to be meeting with a friend. And yeah, we shall see. All right, y'all, I'm out this time. Peace out.